Kevin Chesrail Davis, the 18-year-old man who murdered his mother, Kimberly Hill, in March 2014, continues to fascinate and horrify people alike. The case was especially shocking due to the brutality of the crime, and Davis's subsequent confession to sexually assaulting his mother's corpse. But what motivated Davis to commit such a horrific act? And what does his case tell us about the nature of violence and evil? One possible explanation for Davis's behavior is that he was suffering from a mental illness. Davis was diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder in 2013, and some experts have speculated that he may have also been struggling with other mental health problems, such as schizophrenia or psychopathy. However, it is important to note that mental illness is not an excuse for crime. The vast majority of people with mental illness are not violent. In fact, they are more likely to be victims of crime than perpetrators. Another possible explanation for Davis's behavior is that he was simply a bad person. Some people are simply born with a predisposition to violence. They may have a genetic predisposition to aggression, or they may have been raised in an environment that was conducive to violence. Whatever the reason for Davis's behavior, his case raises important questions about the nature of violence and evil. How can someone commit such a horrific crime, especially against their own mother? What motivates someone to do something so unthinkable? Unfortunately, there are no easy answers to these questions. The case of Kevin Jezreel Davis is a complex and disturbing one. It is a reminder of the darkness that can exist within the human mind. The impact of violence, the violence that Davis inflicted on his mother, has had a devastating impact on the Hell family and the Corpus Christi community. Hill's death has left a void in the lives of her loved ones. Her daughter, Desiree, has spoken out about the trauma that she has experienced as a result of her brother's crime. The case has also had a ripple effect throughout the Corpus Christi community. Many people have been left shaken and disturbed by the violence that occurred in their own backyard. The case has also raised awareness of the importance of mental health awareness and the need to support families who are struggling. Lessons learned, the case of Kevin Jezreel Davis is a tragic one, but it is also a learning opportunity. We can learn from this case the importance of mental health awareness and the need to support families who are struggling. We can also learn the importance of educating the public about violence and its devastating consequences. We can also learn from this case the importance of forgiveness. While it may be difficult to forgive someone who has committed such a horrific crime, forgiveness is essential for our own healing and well-being. Forgiveness does not mean that we condone the crime or excuse the perpetrator's behavior. It simply means that we choose to let go of the anger and resentment that we may be carrying. The case of Kevin Chesrail Davis is a complex and disturbing one, but it is also an opportunity for us to learn and grow. We can learn from this case the importance of mental health awareness, the need to support families who are struggling, and the power of forgiveness.